Ladies and gentlemen, we are back after commercial break, and this is KOK World Grand Prix 2014 Heavyweight Tournament live on Eurosport. It's time for Grand Prix final fight. I would like to announce that winner of this fight next year will fight at a title match against winner of KOK World Grand Prix in Gdansk, Sergei Lashenko. Let me introduce the first fighter of final fight. Blue corner, fighter from Moldova, Stepan Kirli. Here we go, King of Kings, ladies and gentlemen, fight fans, officials. It all comes down to this. The WGP, that's the World Grand Prix Eagles, FEA, Fighting Entertainment Association, King of King Style, here we go. It's the World Grand Prix Heavyweight Final. And one of these two will go through next year, 2015, for the title of King of Kings Heavyweight versus the reigning Supreme Champion at the moment from the Ukraine. Sergey Lashenko. Will it be this man as he high fives the crowd, pumps the crowd? They're all dancing in the aisles. They're singing, they're dancing, they're moving, they're grooving, they're feeling, they wonder, they're clapping their hands as everyone comes to the ring with King of Kings. Anyway, all that sort of rhymed, but as this man climbs the ropes, He's in the final. Stefan Kurlik. He's a final, ladies and gentlemen. Risk on a fighter from Germany, Vladimir Kohl. So it's Moldova versus Germany. Both of these fighters had to work hard. Both went the three rounds solid against their opponents. Who has took the most punishment? age and I'm never ageist because I've seen people get between these ropes at the age of 50 and still fight so don't need to count the age So the tail of the tape has gone. The referee brings the fighters together. The judges are ready. The referee's ready, the fighters are ready, the bell has gone round one. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds as usual. KOK rules. So this is the final fight of the evening. What's been an amazing show. 12 fights in total. There's been some real wars, some real clash of styles. There's been entertainment. 
Good body shot coming in there from Tok. Vladimir Tok in the red corner, red gloves representing Germany. Stefan Kurlik, the Moldovan in the blue corner, blue gloves, and he's in the right stance, or well, right guard. Southpaw as it's known as well. For me, the person who probably had the toughest fight of these two will be Tok. He had a real tough whack off with a debatable win from some people saying that the Dutchman who he beat in his preliminary round in the semi final, Vladimir fought the Dutchman, Fabian Gondorf. Now, somebody said it should be an extra round. Now, to me, I just thought that it was, he just did edge it, but it was close. It could have gone an extra round, but luckily for Vladimir Tok, it didn't. But I still feel that he did take quite a lot more punishment than Stefan did. So out of the two, perhaps we just had a little bit more in the tank. Perhaps, I might be wrong, is Stefan Kurlig. Now, if it goes the distance, or it even goes to an extra round, it's usually the fitter man wins. Now, that could be, depending on how much he's done, Leading up to this fight, could be in Stefan's favour. Now, I'm just trying to do some little fight analytics for you. You can make the judgments yourself, and as like I said, always get a piece of paper, get a pen, put a line down the middle, a line across with three lines down, across from left to right, and write it as round one, two, and three, red corner, blue corner, and score it yourself. The scoring system is a 10-point must system. So the, the fighter who does the most, scores the most, lands the most and effective, most aggressive, will get 10. And his opponent, or her opponent, if it's a lady, of course, ladies fighting, it will be a nine. If there's a knockdown, it's a 10-8. Two knockdowns, 10-7. Superman punch coming in there. So see how you score this fight. Well, we've just had nearly three minutes of this first round. Pretty even so far. Nice backhand, that's the southpaw left cross. Find his mark, ball! Oh, what was that? That looked like it's a, a game over finishing punch in the first round, right before the bell. That was a shocker. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, did you see that? He was out, King of Kings style. He got knocked out. Wow, that respect coming from his opponent there. Straight out and through the ropes. OMB and OMG. That, ladies and gentlemen, was an upset, perhaps. Let's see it. Let's see if our fabulous cameramen can see this. They usually catch it. Watch this. Here we go. Boom. Was the left hook. Wow. And again, watch this angle. Boom, down he goes. Boom, but he caught him on the temple. That's a knockout area. People don't think it is, but it is. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a knockout. Watch, boom, right on the top of the head of the temple. That is a KO of KOs. He is the Grand Prix winner, ladies and gentlemen, of 2014. It is this man from Germany, Vladimir Toktasanyov. Or Tuck as he's known, but he's up on his feet, and that safety is important and paramount. Well, he didn't want to go out like that. Disappointed, but ladies and gentlemen, this has been amazing. The only actual knockout, complete knockout of the night, and it happens in the final. Commiserations there to the gentleman he's just faced. Stefan Kurlik from Moldova. It's not the way the Moldovans wanted it, but. The man came here from Germany and he has won. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sandy Holt from sunny Bolton by the sea. Hello from everybody around the world. Thanks again for supporting this. We'll see you again in 2015. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas, especially to my family, to my mum and my dad. God bless my dad, he's up there in heaven, but my mum, Mary Holt. To everybody at the gym, Jussie Steve, Julie, Wes, Emma, the full team there, my friend in America, everyone, there's too many people to say hello to. And Merry Christmas too. Chris in America, if you're listening. How are you doing, mate? Everybody around the world, thank you.
and especially to my girlfriend, Hayley. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas from Sandy Holt and everybody at King of Kings. Here goes the final words. And don't forget, next year, eight shows, six weight divisions. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's been amazing. The winner, Vladimir Toktasinov.